Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be addressing a question that I get pretty often about typing in MyPy. Uh, and the question is, why don't you have to type the first argument of methods? And, you know, after I explain it, it should seem pretty straightforward, but without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm just going to set up a virtual env, install MyPy, and make a little sample script to validate this. We do virtual env vm and pip install MyPy. Uh, MyPy is a type checker. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about with typing or any of that stuff, uh, I'll link several other of my videos about typing in the description. I guess I'll just do the first intro video um, and you can find the other ones from the playlist. Um, but yeah, so the question today is when you're making classes, uh, say we have like class C and we have some, you know, method foo and we have self and maybe an argument and a return value. And I don't know, you might do something like this and have a function. And when you go to type annotate it, you actually don't type annotate self. You can type annotate self, but you don't need to. Uh, so let's say that we type annotate this as float and returning float. Uh, this is again an argument annotation and this is our return value annotation. I don't actually need to annotate self here. And if we look at running this, uh, let's see, we need to activate that. MyPy t.py, you'll see that MyPy is happy with the way that I've annotated this. Now you can annotate self, you just don't need to because MyPy can infer what the type should be based on the class. And so you don't need to unnecessarily say self colon c here. And in fact, um, if you do it like this, MyPy will be okay with it, but Python will not. <laughs> Uh, because at this point C is not yet defined. And I'm not sure if I've covered this in a in a video yet, but there's two ways around this. You can do from future import annotations, annotations. Uh, and this forces all annotations to be uh, forward references, so to speak, uh, meaning that this doesn't actually get resolved. It's equivalent to putting string quotes around all of these. Uh, which is the other way that you solve this. You can see if we put string quotes here, it's the same according to MyPy, um, but it changes the runtime of this file. And so you'll see if I come and out from future import annotations, this succeeds MyPy and we can run it with Python. Uh, and the same as if we unquoted things, then we used this annotations future import. You'll see that uh, Python is also okay as is MyPy. Uh, but anyway, that's that's the short of it. It's that MyPy can infer that this type is always going to be C, and so you don't have to type annotate that. Similarly, if you have class methods, class method, uh, make C or something like that, um, you don't have to annotate this class here. You would do it with type C if you were being, you know, from future import type from future, from typing. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, you would do type C there. Um, but you don't need to, again, because MyPy knows that it's a class method and so it will always be this type, even in inheritance situations, because like your subclass would be uh, inherited from this type C. But anyway, hopefully that answers that. If you guys have additional questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.